Hello everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some NFT news with Damien Hirst turning his Drake album art into 10,000 Ethereum NFTs. Hirst turns his cover for Certified Leatherboy into a series of 10,000 free NFTs for collectors who hold pieces from his earlier collection. So let's have a look at this. In brief, artist Damien Hirst turned his recent cover art for Drake's Certified Leatherboy album into a series of NFTs. The new NFTs were dropped for free to holders of Hirst's The Currency Collection, which launched in July. Although divisive, the cover art for rapper's Drake's latest album, Certified Leatherboy, stands apart from those of his contemporaries, featuring a grid of the iOS pregnant woman emoji in 12 different skin tones. Now the artist behind the cover famed English provocateur, Dramian Hurst has turned it into a series of NFTs, but there's no minting event or public sale for the 10,000 Ethereum NFT collectibles, which Hurst has dubbed Great Expectations. Instead, the NFTs were airdropped for free to holders of Hurst's prior NFT collection, The Currency, which launched in July. Everything done well is art, Hurst tweeted Thursday. With Drake support and blessing, I've created this free Thanksgiving for all currency NFT holders. It's loosely based on the album album cover I made for Drake. It's cool to see that Drake actually gave the support and blessing for this. Each of the 10,000 pieces features the basic grid of 12 cartoonish depictions of pregnant women, but in Hearst's new twist, the art style has changed and each woman varies in terms of colour, palette, background hair and accessories like handbags and party hats. Some of the women even have a skull in place of a face. Great expectations, everything done well is art with Drake's support and blessing. I've created this free Thanksgiving gift for all currency NFT holders. It's loosely based on the album cover I made for Drake. It actually looks like we have a video here. So let's have a quick look at it without the audio for copyright problems potentially. And we see here all the different NFT variations, art variations that we see for NFTs. We have different sort of clothing for each one. And we sometimes even have hats and glasses as well as other hair accessories that we see this time around. It's all no hair accessories, but then at certain points we can see hats like this here and here and here. And we also have a bag right here. So there's a number of different things. Again, I think there's 10,000 from what it says here. So there's definitely a lot to go through. Hers details the creation of great expectations across a series of tweets like all great art, it looks easy. He writes noting that he wanted it to pop high and low art and that it had to be ironic while remaining iconic. Hundreds of great expectations holders are already trying to flip their free NFTs according to listings on leading NFT marketplace OpenSea. The cheapest available NFT in the set is currently listed at above 1.1 ETH or about $4,500. NFT acts as a deed of ownership to a digital item, enabling provable scarcity for things like digital illustrations, proper pictures, video files, and more. The NFT market has ballooned over the course of 2021, including $10.67 billion worth of trading volume in Q3 per data from DAP Radar. Ethereum is the leading platform for NFT collectibles. Hearst, one of the most successful living contemporary artists, launched the currency in July, creating 10,000 physical spot paintings and turning each into an NFT at a price of 2,000 apiece. Buyers could choose to keep the NFT version or burn, i.e. destroy it in exchange for the physical version. Any physical paintings not redeemed by July 27, 2022 will be burned. I think that's a fair amount of time to be fair. All told, Hurst received 67,000 and 23 purchase requests for the 10,000 NFTs and generated, generated 20 million in revenue from the initial sale. Secondary sales of the currency NFTs have thus far yielded some $61.7 million with a trading volume in Ethereum on OpenSea. So a quick look at Damien Hurst forcing buyers to make a choice, physical art or NFTs, because this is definitely an interesting conversation to say the least. The British artist who launched the currency a series of 10,000 non-fungible tokens in the form of a unique experiment. This is Damien Hurst. A series of his artworks and NFTs dubbed the currency went on sale. The project forms a unique experiment that forces buyers to choose either physical or digital ownership. Now, I think honestly, when it comes to digital ownership, a lot of that will also come down to people going for the flip. I think the physical will be more of a sentimental piece. That's my personal opinion. What are your thoughts? Let, let me know in the comments below. Of course, we've seen here launching a series of 10,000 artworks and NFTs 
in the form of fascinating experience that forces buyers to choose between possession of the physical artwork or its blockchain based version launched today the currency is a series of unique but almost identical spot paintings each one of course for two grand each so the question is which would you choose the point is that the project sorry is designed very much as an experiment to question buyers notions of value through money and art according to hers two months after the artworks are issued owners will have to decide whether to keep the NFT or the physical artworks which are being kept in a secure vault at 3 p.m bst on july 27 2022 if collectors have not opted for the physical version yet the current the corresponding print will be burned conversely if they opt for the physical work the corresponding nft will be deleted from the blockchain the proportion of works that buyers choose to be destroyed will be of interest not only to nft aficionados but to the art market more generally since people's every days the first 5,000 days nft sold for 69.3 mil of course we already know a lot of this Hearst has already made his first foray into crypto in March. He released a series of 7.481k prints available for purchase with crypto. And of course, it amassed two, sorry, $22.4 million. To publicize the new venture, Hearst recorded an interview with FT with none other than former Bank of England Governor Mark Carney during his tenure at, as the chief of the UK Central Bank. Carney often projected a crypto-friendly attitude that contrasts with the UK's more recent crackdown on regulated exchange. In the video, Carney points out that all star systems of money are based on trust, but with art, there's a further element of belief involved and the artist's name becomes an essential part of the imputation of the value. The business of art, Hearst, however, Hearst, sorry, however, has proved through the decades of success that he is not just an artist but a, a, a savvy businessman with an eye continuously trained on the capricious market on his work. Art critic and author Ben Lewis, who fronts Art Bus, a new podcast series about crimes, is skeptical about the $2,000 price tag on her status drop. The NFTs will be immediately tradable on the Henny's or Nifty's online marketplaces, but bearing in mind rumors of the recent lackluster performance in her work, it's uncertain whether they will keep their value, said Lewis. He did point out that the artist's earlier spot paintings produced in the first decade of the 21st century had properties in common with today's NFTs. They were highly traded, easy to buy, and easy to sell, and people bought a lot of them. They were a cornerstone zone of the art market but rather than use that as an indicator for how Hearst experiment will pan out Lewis recommends that those looking to predict whether the physical works will triumph over NFT should look to the health of the overall crypto market as the two are intric intricately linked in recent months the market has crashed hard from its heyday in May Bitcoin the leading crypto is trading at 32.891 uh, down nearly 50% of its all-time high of 64k it's an interesting time to be launching an NFT experiment and of course nothing we say on the channel is financial advice but I personally do believe that realistically you know this comes down to what is the IP of Damien Hirst because many artists are seeing their own NFT launches as being their own sort of personal IPO the question is do you believe in Damien Hirst brand equity do you believe in his IP equity and of course that will probably determine what will happen from here because NFTs do not seem to be going anywhere anytime soon as far as when we see large companies like Adidas getting involved Nike getting involved Facebook rebranding its entire company to Meta it's looking quite bullish again nothing is financial advice but that being said let's have a quick final look this article right here, Damien Hurst, $20 million twist on NFTs, 6x over subscribed. Look at what's happening with NFTs, and you can see the galleries disappearing. The currency, etc., has been oversubscribed. The artist received six applications for every 2,000 print, netting a potential 20 million. We know, of course, about the uh, currency and Henny Group applications have closed for Hearst official the currency thanks to all who have applied. 32,472 people applied for a total of 67,000 NFTs due to the large number of applications. Allocations will take some time and applica applicants may not be notified until 28th of July. Stay tuned for phase two. Exactly 32,472 people applied for a total of 67,023 artworks. According to Henny, the works are priced at $2,000 and it will be notified on July 28th if they're uh, successful with that being said what are your thoughts on this space it is very exciting to say the least and of course we can see right here that they're being paid beneath the crypto of ethereum blockchain that being said make sure to subscribe to web3 for everything happening in the web3 space thanks for watching have a great day see you in the next video